Hi, my name is Caleb Fivis, and this is my oral presentation on Heidegger. Uh, to start off, I will give some background knowledge of him. His name is Martin Heidegger, and he was a German philosopher who was born in 1899 in Germany, uh, and he died in 1976. He was one of the most influential philosophers of the 20th century. He was part of the Nazi party as well. There are three questions that are asked of us to answer, and the first one is, what role did Heidegger want the German university to play in the overcoming of nihilism and the revitalization of the German nation? The second one is, how would the faculty and students to uh, be trained or adapted to this task? And finally, the third question is, what are the connections between Heidegger's philosophy and his goals as rector of the University of Freiburg? To answer the first question, what role did Heidegger want the German university to play in the overcoming of nihilism and the revitalization of the German nation. Heidegger had a philosophy that was centered around the question of being. The question of being talks about who we are as humans and what is our purpose. Heidegger believes that nihilism supports or brings back the question of being. Uh, Heidegger thought the Nazi revolution would help humanity start over. Um, he didn't fully support them though. Uh, the Nazi Party movement was necessary for natural cleansing, uh, which is what was needed for the German people. Heidegger wanted to have the support of the university towards him and the Nazi Party. He had some beliefs that uh, were the same as the Nazis, but he also had some beliefs that were different from them as well. Heidegger and the Nazis had the same belief that Jews were considered an illness. Uh, the Nazi Party thought the answer to this was genocide and mass killing. While on the other hand, Heidegger uh, thought the answer to this was through the university. To answer the second question, which is, how would the faculty and students be trained or adapted to this task? Heidegger used students and faculty to help support his uh, philosophies. Many of his writings... Um, many of his writings are addressed to students and faculty. Heidegger had a strong desire for the growth of students and faculty. He wanted to teach them his beliefs and for them to think the same um, as he did. Uh, he thought that it would unite Germany as one and make them better as a whole. Heidegger enforced academic laws that banned some freedoms from the university. The reason behind this was because these freedoms weren't factual and wouldn't create any kind of guidance for the students. In order to become better as a whole, there needs to be guidance and law. This was the reason why Heidegger created these academic laws for the university. He said that it would develop leadership and that this leadership within the university would make its way out uh, to the whole German nation. Heidegger thought if the students and faculty thought the same, then it would lead to the whole nation thinking the same way as well. Uh, to answer the third question, what are the, what are the connections between Heidegger's philosophy and his goals as rector of the University of Freiburg. Heidegger wanted to examine the self-being and what it truly meant um, to exist. Uh, when he talks about this, you can tell that there is a little focus on individualism, but in a broader sense of self. Uh, Heidegger wanted to bring back some of the characteristics uh, for the laws of nature. An example of this is like what exactly defines will. Heidegger wanted to help people and realize their true self. He wanted to do so by revitalization of fundamental values and the opposition of self-truth. Uh, thank you for watching my video, everyone.